Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints and to the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. I'm going to do a series of videos on how to recover your custom information or your custom files. That would be things like your workspace, your brushes, your custom palettes, anything uh, that you may have created uh, inside of Painter uh, yourself or copied from somebody else. Uh, if Painter crashes and you can't open it again and you have to reinstall or maybe start it with the shift start, you will lose all of your custom information unless you've been ultra organized. And if you've been ultra organized, you've saved this information on a regular basis. And at that point, you can restart Painter with a shift start or uninstall, reinstall, and you could just import your information back in. But if you forgot to do that, or in my case, this happened just a, um, a week or so ago, I had, uh, I was working on a deadline for some stuff and uh, I had created a bunch of uh, custom stuff for it. And normally anytime I create a bunch of custom stuff, I just go in and export my workspace as a routine, but I was in a hurry and I didn't do it. And so the next thing I knew painter crashed on me and uh, I couldn't get it to open again. So I, all of that custom stuff would have been lost had I not followed these steps. So at this point, Painter has crashed. Before you do a shift start or reinstall, now you, you can reboot your computer and then try to open Painter again to see if that does it. You can even go in with a PC. There's a way to go to uninstall applications, but don't uninstall Painter. There's an option to repair it. You can try the repair option to see if that will fix it. Um, and I'm sure there's a similar thing in a Mac, but I don't have a Mac, so I'm not going to be able to, to, I don't know for sure that that's the way you can do it. But before you do any of those drastic things, you've got to do this next step. Okay, so before you do any of the drastic things, you want to copy your workspace to a folder in your documents. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to do that in a PC first, and then I'm going to show you how to do it in a Mac. So if you have a Mac, you want to probably zoom forward till I get to the Mac section. All right, so for a PC, you want to follow this path. Now, um, this path is desktop, your user file, app data, roaming, Corel, Painter 2015, or any version since Painter 12.2. Uh, .2. If you happen to still be on Painter 12.2, you can use this method. If you're on X3, you can use this method. Or if you're on Painter 2015, you can use this method. And then Workspace. Now, what I would do is I would open up my Window Explorer. That's this um, thing here. I would click on Desktop. See, click on Desktop. Then I would go to my system folder, my user folder uh, here, click on that. And then I would go to app data. Then I would go to roaming and I would come down roaming until I see Corel. I would click on Corel and then I would go to painter 2015. Now, as I said, let me go back one. If you still are working in Painter 12, you would go to Painter 12. If you're working in Painter X3, you would go to Painter X3. But I'm working in 2015 and that's where I'm going to go. So I'm going to click on Painter 2015. Next, you see two folders. These are your workspace folders. Okay. There's Skip Space. That's my um, custom workspace. It has all of my information that I need in it. That's the, the workspace you want is your custom one. Now, if you didn't create a custom workspace, but you've added stuff to your default workspace, then default is the one that you want to select. Okay. So we're going to go and click on skips base. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go control C and copy this control C. And that copies skips base. Now I'm going to go to my downloads. I mean, not my downloads to my documents. And I'm going to add a new folder. 
and I'll call this folder um, my old workspace. And I'll click and in, go into that folder, my old workspace, and then Control V will paste the document into my workspace. Now, this is going to take a while to do. It's 511 megabytes, and I don't want to spend that time wa wasting for it. So I'm going to cancel, okay? And I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to delete my old workspace because I don't need that there either. I have already copied this um, to my uh, path somewhere, and we'll go there uh, when we need to fix it. Okay, so now let's go to the next part, which would be for a Mac. Okay. If you're a Mac user, you're going to follow this path. Now, I don't, I'm not on a Mac, so I can't show you. I just have to talk you through it. You want to go to your Finder menu up at the top and look for or select Go in the Finder menu. Then come down the list and click on Go to Folder. Now, there's a dialog box that will open, and in the dialog box, you want to type tilde forward slash library okay now that will open up uh, your finder to a particular area and from there you want to click on application support then corel then painter 2015 or any version since painter 12.2 will work um, remember that would be if you happen to still have painter 12 and you want you're using it then click on Corel Painter 12. If you're using Corel Painter X3, you would click on Corel Painter X3. If you're using Corel Painter 2015, then you would click on Corel Painter 2015. And then you click on your workspace. And as I showed with the PC, when you click on this Painter 2015, the, two, the folders that you'll see next are your workspace folders and you click on the custom workspace that you have um, and you go command C to copy. Then you go in your finder to your documents and create a new folder, call it my old workspace, and then command V will paste it into that workspace. Okay, that's what everybody needs to do to get ready to save your custom files or to recover your custom files after a painter's crash. Okay, see you in the next video and I'll tell you the next steps to do. Bye-bye.